Hello everybody, this is Smiter135 and welcome to this. It's another Atari game. Made by Funimation Productions Limited and Webco Technologies. Webfoot, I guess. <laughs> it's Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury! It's pretty great! This took everything that the last couple of games did and made it pretty great. So let's go ahead and get started. It actually has a multiplayer which could either, uh, I'll explain those later. But let's go ahead and get started. You actually have three different save files in this game. Previously, on Dragon Ball Z, Goku's son, Gohan, was able to tap into his deepest powers and finally destroy the monstrous cell. <coughs> finally, after years of turmoil caused by Dr. Jiro's androids, the Earth was brought back to normal. Except for one thing. Goku, who, in a des who was killed in a desperate attempt to defeat Cell, could not be revived by the powers of the Earth's dragon. And despite a clever plan to bring him back to life, Goku decided it'd be safer for the Earth if he didn't return. And so family and friends were forced to say goodbye to the Saiyan they loved. Despite this terrible loss, the world was finally at peace. Or was it? Somewhere on the planet Earth, a something ancient and horrible was sleeping, a terror beyond imagination. And the forces of evil were preparing to awaken it from its primeval imprisonment. So like I was saying, this took everything that made 2 great and multiplied it. Chapter 1, The Other World. This game basically follows the Boo Saga, <laughs> obviously, with actually a couple of the movies thrown in. I, I can only remember one off the bat that's thrown in. Meanwhile, millions of light years above, along the winding track of Snake Way, Goku was adjusting well to the life of the other world. On Snake Way. Boop, boop. I forgot how long Snake Way was. Listen, King Kai, can't you run any faster? We're not making very good time. Also, the character things are a lot better. How many times can I say this? We can't make bad time here because in this world, time never runs out. But I still can't wait to see the master of the other world you were telling me about. Talk about the ultimate fighting challenge. I have to tell you, Goku, you'd better not think lightly of him or you're gonna be in trouble. Maybe if I explain. You know I am the King Kai, and I watch over the Earth. And you're part of space, but the universe is divided into four quadrants. There's the North, the South, the East, and the West quadrants, each with their own King Kai. But the farther one above us is the Grand Kai. He rules over the Kais themselves. And he's also a martial arts master with a planet full of fighters, which is why we have to get there right away. Say, how do we get to the Grand Kai's planet anyways? You have to take a plane. It's called the Higher Plane. Ha ha. It's Dr. King Yama's castle at the end of Snake Way. And so we're going to run out ahead because we are impatient. Also, by the way, the game doesn't tell you, but you still have a scouter. This is Gregory. Talking Cricket who hangs out with King Kai. It's King Kai, the guardian of the North Galaxy, one of the greatest martial artists in the world, and corny sense of humor. And then Bubbles. Bubbles is an ape who hangs out with King Kai. Some of them don't have any portrait data like Bubbles and Gregory. I think they do have dialogue though if you talk to them. Oops. Oh no, they don't. <laughs> the legs are too short. Can you still run? And it tells you right here, you can still run. This game basically retains a whole bunch of stuff from the last game. You could probably tell. Uh, the little uh, HUD up there looks a little different. But. All in due time. All in due time. Yenma's office. Hey, yo, or Yenma. Can I have the next soul, please? Hey, King Yenma, how's it going? We died again. Yup. See, how in the world did you die? If you're supposed to be like some kind of like want overseer of the universe, I don't understand how you can die. Like, what happens when you die naturally? Or what if? Uh, or maybe it's like an, uh, an immortality kind of thing. I'd take some tea. 
T would be nice. Like an immortality thing, where like he's immortal, but he could still get hurt and die. Which exactly what happened. There's a crack in the wall here, which I never knew what this what 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 this was for. Cracks in the wall in this game actually signify a place that you can actually break. But as you can see, we can't exactly do anything. I think we can scan Yemma actually. Can we? Yeah, we can. The giant ogre who guards the uh, the entrance to the other world, and the biggest thing of all is we can scan ourselves. And our stats are actually our stats. It's an all-around good guy who often saves the earth. And this is a cloud. And ass assistance. I think all the assistants pretty much look the same. Yep. <laughs> but anyways, we should go to the door on the left. We're gonna have to wait in line like everyone else. But we are Goku, so we get to go on ahead. Because we get to keep our body. This is good. I know they say you can't take it with you. But they could at least take it. let me take my capsule motorcycle. That'd be kind of weird to see a spirit flying around on a motorcycle. You think my grandmother would be here? Hopefully. See, I wonder if... <laughs> I can't miss my soaps. Um, well, heaven, I would assume so. This is the plane to heaven. The higher plane is on the other dock. This looks like a nice plane, though. Especially for being off to heaven. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point. But this plane, on the other hand... It <laughs> does not look like a good plane. See, even Goku's just like, I ain't having this crap. <laughs> I'm fly there myself. But the green guy's got a mansion. It's pretty swanky. It really doesn't look like much. And he freaks out. It's more impressive than your planet, especially since your planet was blown up when Cell exploded. <laughs> Goku is very rude sometimes. Actually, he's not rude, but he's just rather blunt. And oblivious, I guess. Yeah, let's go learn something from the other players. Other fighters, I guess. This is a car. <laughs> and once again, he likes cars. And these save circles, actually... Wow, that was a long save. I thought it froze for a second. I even held the fast forward button. But! Save circles return. And we can talk to the other guys and this guy. Greedy King Kai, it's just good to see you. And this is Olabu. It's from Earth. 10,000 years of training. Dang. Dang. But isn't this guy also like human for 10,000 years? Oh, dang it. 10,000 years of training is not really that much. Because they're probably not gonna... He's not gonna withstand up to me, because I'm a Saiyan. But essentially, when he's talking about, um... Like, asking around... He's basically... This is a whole tutorial area. And this guy over here actually tells you something about being invincible. So let's actually look at it. It's called energy blocking. Hold the R button, and then hold the B button. And then, basically, an energy shield. Basically... It's like what I said in the last game. We have a block button, which is just great. And then if we use B, there we go. And we're actually invincible during that. So he's not lying. Chests. More RPG elements. We get a one-ton armband. And a one-ton lag. Basically, in this game, we get an equipment screen, which we can put that armband on and, these, and the leg boot. <laughs> the leg boot and arm band. But basically, they slow us down a bit, which you can't tell with the one ton, but eventually you get the ones that are just... Uh, you get ones that are, in like, incredibly heavy, and they actually slow you down. But the more you wear them, the actually... The longer, uh, the faster you actually get at wearing them. So that's kind of cool. You also get more experience if you wear them. And so I was completely ignoring what Olibu was saying, but basically, we're fighting. And that guy dropped some soup. But however, we can pick it up. Unlike healing items last game, you actually can pick up items for later use, other than just sensu beans and cookies. Why is it lagging this bad? I don't remember it being this bad. Yeah, I don't remember it being this bad. We reached level 61 though, and we have currently three stat points. 
Now stat points. In the last game we had stat points. We had the energy, we had the endurance, and we had power. Which I'm pretty sure are the same ones we have here. Let's see beginner's luck. Nah. It's called just punching a whole bunch of guys in the face. That too. But stats, we can actually distribute stat points! Strength, obviously, I think it's everything like I said in the last game. Strength allows us to do more damage, power does more energy damage, and endurance just overall just lets us move faster. Or actually, uh, is it move faster? Or maybe it's sort of like defense, I'm not exactly sure. But since it's being Goku, let's put most of that in strength and uh, some of that in endurance, and we're good. If you want to, you can completely over make an overpowered character by just increasing the crap out of the strength and that's it and why is it doing this dang it i thought everything was okay and it's olaboo how did you get here you took a shortcut uh sh sure but first power <laughs> um as you can see we kind of have new powers in addition to our kamehameha we have the instant transmission and i probably shouldn't have wasted all of my mana but you know what we get it back because stat boost i mean level up and character gates come back and as you can see we're still not ready to go get that one so mode seven and we're off to go fight some more guys but basically stat points kind of make a character broken so if you want to just completely cheap out the game, you can do something like that. So, yeah. So now we have 95, we can go back. Also, money is an important factor in this game. This is a character game, blah, 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 blah. We know this from the last game. Just be the actual level and go on. Cave of the Ancients. This Cave of the Ancients, an ancient artifact inside. No one's ever been able to get it. I don't think we've scanned Olaboo. There we go. We can't exactly punch it or blast it, but what if we uh, Kamehameha it in the face? That worked. And now we have a chest surrounded by black. This wall is made of Kachin, the strongest metal in the universe. Oh, really? Well, uh, let's test that theory! And yeah, it won't break through. What you actually have to do is use your instant transmission, go in there, and get it. And so the ancient treasure was just a simple cotton geek. It's just lame. <laughs> Your reward is clothes, as basically <laughs> TV tropes would say. Pycon is the better fighter. Goku is the better pi fighter. Pycon! Goku! Pycon! Goku! And then they're just getting steamed up. <laughs> These are the Kais, actually. The North, South, East, and West Kai. <coughs> the other day, Uprising in HFIL. Home for infinite losers, which we fell off in. Oh wait, we didn't, not in the last game. It was the first game. So it's some evil guy named Cell Frieza. <laughs> and Pycon was able to take care of both of them. Um, well, Frieza was no problem, but Cell. <laughs> Never mind that. Anyways, we're incredibly strong. Three hundred years. The martial arts tournament. Just that I hear somebody say tournament. Funky Kai. I think it's tournament's a radical idea. To make things exciting, I'll throw in a free private lesson for whoever brings home the gold. <laughs> you mean the winner gets a free lesson? Totally. Totes. Let's go. Sure <laughs> beats trading for ten thousand years. I bet. And the tournament will be held inside his house. Which is pretty great. <laughs> Saving. I think I'll participate in the tournament and then I'll stop it. But I don't know. I may get cut off early because I'm kind of strapped for time right now. The other world stadium. And so the tournament began. First to fight was Olubu and Chupa Chupacabra with Olubu winning the match. I'll spit. Alien Mr. T. And Caterpie, who gets 
completely decimated by Goku. Because it's a giant worm. And there's Frog and blah blah blah. Looks like uh, Frog didn't have enough mana for freaking Slurp, I guess. I forgot. I forgot what the heck. Ah. Uh, called. <clears throat> forget any of Frog's moves from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> but yeah. Tell these guys they fought in the uh, show. Except this guy flooded the entire arena. I remember that episode. Well, not so much. I just remember he flooded the episode and then there was something. But in the end, it all came down to Goku and PyCon, who will win. Was there any ever doubt that we would make? Was there ever any doubt we would we wouldn't make it to the end? And so we have Mushroom Guy as our announcer. It's the final tournament from West Quadrant Piccolo, <laughs> from the North Quadrant Goku. May the best life form win. And I know I said Piccolo, but whatever. They're all pickles. And we can actually come over here and scan the West Kai and scan Pumpkinhead, Marshmallow Head, Mushroom Head, the Fungus Alien, whatever. Music. Uh, let's overpower PyCon. Let me show you how overpowered this can be. He's going down in no sweat at all. You're holding out on me, PyCon. This isn't your full strength, is it? You're right, Goku. Aw, spit. I'm pretty sure he throws off his clothes in the show. And we're now Super Saiyan. We get that ability right off the bat. And as you can see, we get a different energy bar, as I said last time. It's yellow, and it does decrease. But! Now we can just utterly decimate him. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, blocking. Oh wait. Oh. I do believe PyCon has a, um... An energy shot, but uh, I don't think he's gonna use it. Are you gonna use it? It's like that, uh, it's like the destroyer fire in the last game. You know, the big giant robots that sent out like plumes of like fire and smoke. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, our damage does 40, I mean, our blasts do 43, but our punches do like 143. So you can see how overpowered you can actually make a character if you focus on one solo attribute. More importantly, just strength on everyone. Literally punch everyone to death. And I was not paying attention to anything during that cutscene, but they touched the top of the ceiling. Which, um... They violated the rules of the tournament. <laughs> yep, they touched the ceiling. According to Article 3, Paragraph 13,351 of the official rulebook, stadium ceiling is the floor because if you stand on your head, the floor is the ceiling and the ceiling is the floor. And my dog's yelling because I need to go because father's here which means I can't record because loudness anyways we can promise 200 years or 2,000 years we get a free training thing <laughs> but he's too much of a couch potato to teach us anyways <laughs> in the next part we shall find out what happens in chapter 2 great say a man thank you guys for watching <laughs>